Yay, ReaperCon 2007, Hey y'all, this is Darren, Pegasus on the forums and YouTube. Uh, spouting the desperate need for a haircut and a shave. My 2007 ReaperCon review, let's just jump in. You saw the little pin, that was part of the swag bag. And I'm just going to start in with the swag, because that's what probably everybody cares about. I may have gotten these wrong, but I'm pretty sure everything came in the nice big ReaperCon bag. Found a little bag, shopping bag afterwards, I guess. And, uh, yeah, go with it. Uh, here's this year's badge, my name, various ribbons. I only ran with uh, two this year, for most part. This is the VIP package, which I'll show in a bit and the ace pilot which was the cavcon that they were having the, the big stompy robot game one thing you'll notice is i did not use my ReaperCon badge lanyard because i've got two of them laying around and so no real reason to keep it so i put it in the box of goodwill which would be that one they're going to pass around a box with all ReaperCon goodies that people didn't care for, not care for, just weren't going to use, so people who didn't show up to the con could have something. Um, and it came with, you know, the standard Reaper bucks that you can use. And mine's empty. We used them all. Uh, I guess just jump straight back into it came with your standard three colors. And let's see. Try and read it, but the middle one I think is Elderberry. Nope. Emerald, F retro emerald, retro slate, and retro elderberries. I haven't opened it up yet to find out if the elderberries smell like elderberries. And came with the 2007 Reaper Sophie. Let's get it in here all jumbled pieces, but you can see a bit of the tail in there, and if I went moved it the right way, and made it not focus on the background, all kinds of other things in there. Anyway, it's you're basically that figure there, done in metal. don't know why I'm holding on to that, but uh, yeah, cool cool figure. It'll be not fun to paint if I ever get around to painting more. It's been a fun year. I've got the scars to show. It. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, you can't even see it on video. Eh. Two operations. That's why I haven't been painting a lot. Uh, then they gave the four faction minis again. This is Damaris Walmond, Dusk Warden, and you know Foki. Okay. Sideways, pull it out. There we go. So you can see her quite a bit. Then, pass on that one, that one, that one. Let's go through the four factions. This one's the Maggot Crown. Flip it sideways again. Hello, you can focus. No, you can't, because you're stupid. I need like a cameraman on this. There we go. So he's kind of interesting head shape there. The Mina River, the widow's River Widow's captain. Let's try the sideways trick. Kind of got it. And too bright on one side. This side. Ah, I'm messing this all up. There we go. See, she's got a hat and things like that. And Bonehenge, Orello, Ed, Andrino. Do a sideways trick. There we 
go. And get him. No, oh, don't. Not at me. Ah. Prove kiss. Let's go. So, yeah. Those are the four factions. They had the Concrud Zombie. Okay. I can't get him to focus. But luckily enough, I've got the Concred artwork. So that's what he's been off of. A couple packages of vitamin C powder, which I didn't use, and I'm not sick. Then the ReaperCon 2017 figure from Dark Sword Miniatures, which is a female ranger. Pretty dramatic pose, and a couple fiddly bits. The obligatory bases. A couple of blue ones in there, flight stands, a couple slot of bases. The Mouse Stoffelies, which is the 2000 Con Reaper Mouseling Con. Reaper Con Mouseling. And that's that. Came with a notepad, and I already showed the pin. Reaper, <laughs> Reaper Con Hall of Fame 2017 Scarecrow. See all the little pumpkins there. That. And I did it for the figures. Then it came with uh, Frontline Games, some uh, scenic. Of uh, grass. That'll come in useful. Happy Sapuku sent out a little steampunk base. Again, st Steinal Res primer paint. So, this is a. Uh, I don't know what color they would call it, but a ruddy brown. Then the Reapercon cup. Kind of cool. I didn't use the one from last year. The one that set everyone talking, at least most people I talked to, was that, you know, gee, they threw in an entire mage cage. Mine's been taken out of the box because I had pictures taken for it. And I'm just not in focus, am I? There we go. Bring the focus in. Okay, well, <clears throat> anyway, cool little mage cage. They've currently got a Kickstarter. Uh, they were selling them last year, and shot of the inside. And I did back their Kickstarter, the one that they canceled and restarted. It's currently going now. Who knows when you're watching this video? And actually, that's probably not the most interesting one that people did. Or we're worried about interested in that would be the dragon bust and uh, you can see the head in there Julie Guthrie I don't know it doesn't say on it anyway they sold out of these these are resin not metal not bones so dragon bust to paint up then Cavcon was the Big Stompy Robots again. I got lots of CAV from their Kickstarters. It came with a little badge carrier. And I didn't use it, but I did take the lanyard off. And like I said, gave the lanyard I had away. It came with a Fire Drake CAV, which I haven't taken out of the box. Then, the VIP package. It came in a little backpack type bag. And I may have missed everything that came with it, but it came with the meals to start with. Um, VIP werewolf. Right, Sal? 
Then it came with another mouse wing. And this is, I can't tell very well, the, but the hot foot version. A little mouseling in there. It's not going to focus on this this well enough, but you can kind of see him down here in the bottom corner. Anyway, he's screaming and got one foot lifted up because he uh, two little imps giving him a hot foot. And someone's already tried to put this together. And one recommendation, if you do have it, is put the tail on first. Otherwise, it's really hard to get on the base, and you're going to get super glue all over you. Then it came with another set of paints. Focus. There you go. Uh, VIP triads. And this one looks like it's all retro. So retro red steel. Retro something blue because it's hidden. I can't see it. And gold silk. So three more paints there. Focus is just killing me. I've got the little screen behind. So. Then the other thing you go to ReaperCon for is to purchase stuff. I bought uh, two little things of Smog Wars. And what was that? Vix? Vika. And whatever his name. Mapush. And one of those is for my wife who went. She wouldn't buy the raccoon guy because she didn't want to spend that much money. So I'll spend that much money. And you know, picked up a part of the uh, swag bag was $25 gift certificate to their store. So I picked up a bunch of paints. Yeah, I don't think I have to show them all, but you know, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven paints. Show you the ends of all of them. One of them is a refill because I've lost the bottle. I have no idea where it went. The others were just paints I needed to fill in where I had. I don't think all of those paints were bought with the $25. You know, it was $3 a bottle, so yeah, that was more than I got. And then with, I think I picked up six paints, seven paints, and then with the remaining money, I picked up a dwarf brewer and a halfling cook. I just figured they'd be fun to paint. I'm pretty sure I've got them somewhere. But more is always better. Then, my wife picked up a couple. Let's see. Oh, it's that one. I like the uh, Big Stompy Robot, so I bought two more Fire Drakes. I'm pretty sure... Well, I'm not going to say anything. I was going to say, I don't know if they're available retail or not, or will be available retail or not. They may be a con exclusive, but I'm not going to say one way or the other because I don't know. Then I did pick up the uh, Hecklemeyer and Sticks. This is one of their 25th anniversary figures. Um, it was available for free and purchase in a certain month. I don't remember, but I hadn't picked up any of those, but I was looking at it and it's like, eh. You know, I'll go ahead and get that one. Uh, <clears throat> not really a purchase, but if you walked around to all the vendors and got your little card stamped, you got All Hallows Eve. There's an example of a little stamp. And let's see if I can get it upright. Well, sideways is fine. Uh, a witch of some sort. Rather hefty chunk of metal. Then other things I bought was uh, I think it's from the Bombshell Babes. It may have been someone else, but I bought a little blacksmith set, and I've got uh, Bombshell's Anvil and Vala being painted, and thought that would go good with her. And then we stopped by Happy Sapuku. We bought last year they had they were sold out of one that we wanted. I don't remember which one it was, but we have Snow and Mud now. And the Temple Courtyard. And, uh, I lost the 
top to that one, but it's the catwalk grating. The fish scale brick. That'll be fun to use. And then picked up the stone quarry. So lots of little base textures to use there. And oh, final thing I purchased. I don't remember the guy's name, sorry. Uh, Terrascapes on Kickstarter right now, but it's uh, double sided terrain. So you can use it standing up like that, or you can flip it over and use it like that. I bought the standard three piece set. That's side A, side B, and it's able to stand and connect to the others. And this is the piece that sold me. It was, you know, okay, you know, rocks and stuff. But it's got that pool on the bottom, which is pretty deep. And it, it looked really nice the way he had painted it up. And I need display cabinet terrain anyway. So do that. So that was all the purchases. Get focused. Focus. Maybe. I've got a screen down below. Probably edit that all out anyway. So, entries. Um, shoot, I don't have my flat here. I already put it in the display case, but it got Certificate of Merit. was disappointed in that. Uh, did get input later of why it was that way. And, you know, I agree. Had googly eye syndrome. Highlights were... I had attempted from the top. Should have been from one angle or the other. So, whatever. However... That's a silver. And that was for my Spites little robot. And it's a one I put into the open. Judge's feedback on this is the water would have been better if it was textured, had waves, which, yeah, seeing that now, yeah, that would have been good. Um, I'd intended to put little footprints on the beach so you could see him that he walked out of the water and turned around and was standing. I just ran out of time and forgot. But uh, what really helped him, he said, was this. This is all the pieces of that it came out of the 3D printer. He was saying that uh, they wouldn't have known it was 3D printed because I cleaned it up so well. Artist Gesso use it as body putty, really easy to sand off. So, with that, you know, I was happy to get a silver, disappointed to get a certificate of merit. But, you know, that's the way things go. Now, since the talk, I'm going to try to get in focus here. Okay, that's about as good as it's going to get, so you're going to get a talking head. Ooh, scary. Uh, the venue. It was at the Premier Event Center again, and again it didn't have carpet on the bottom. Well, on the floor, I assume you don't, wouldn't put carpet on the ceiling. But it really would have helped if there was carpet down. Last year, it was my understanding, they just hadn't had time. They were in the middle of a renovation, hadn't put the carpet down. This year, yeah, that excuse probably wasn't true, or my misunderstanding. Uh, they did move the gaming section away from the classrooms on the opposite end, and it helped a lot, but apparently someone around there was playing a, a musical instrument, ocarina. I'll probably mispronounce that. That bugged a lot of people. Uh, the vendor traffic was a little loud, too, but overall it was better. The funny thing for me was the PA system. While you were sitting in the audience that was the PA was intended to be sent to, it was hard to hear, but there in the classroom you could hear it really well. And It's the same distance away, just opposite directions. Don't know what was up with that. Uh, took a freehand class. There it is. And you can see the freehand down at the bottom. I really didn't do what he was intending or as one of the examples, so I kind of went my own way and really didn't come out very well. The class was okay, but it would have been better. Um, 
I am missing some pieces. So I'm going to see you and I'll be right back. So I took a faces cla or a eyes class with Mocha on the forums. Michael, real name, forget her last name, sorry. But came away with a, a good way of doing eyes. And don't think I did half bad on that one. Uh, took expressive faces with Caleb Wissenbach. I remember that one. Um, I'm not going to focus it either. So, there's the face I came up with. Ooh, too far. So, you know, pretty creepy to have this guy looking at you. But that was a good class, too. Then, uh, my wife and I took the modern, how to paint modern figure class with for Greenwald. Greenwald. Um, here's my wife's figure, which again is not focused. And you're not going to do this, are you? Oh well. Anyway, I went a little bit different with my figure. Will you focus on that one? Uh, of course you will. So, you know, just kind of a camo jacket. And on the, now the face is all white, but the blue jeans was the big thing, um, weapons, uh, denim more or less, well, let me see if I can get it, there, there's hers, I think she did much better on her jeans than I did, but basically, you know, so many of the classes were, oh, just go to Google and use pictures there to guide you, it's like, okay, I could do that anywhere, um, little figure I just painted while waiting around. There's a little mushroom man. I painted him with little blue mushrooms down his back. We just kind of painted that while we had time. Here we go, the focus is back. Uh, played D&D 5th edition after hours at the hotel with uh, Paul, uber nerd on the forums, played a barbarian figure, so there's my barbarian. It's 45 minute paint job, so I'm not going to show it. Um, <clears throat> I didn't play any games there. I wish I'd played a couple calves, but I just didn't have the time. When we weren't at the con, you know, my wife and I went to a Japanese 100 yen store and various restaurants and bookstores around the area you know, made it a vacation for us so had fun that so you know maybe next time I'll do a game or two uh, got to judge Sophie says completely by accident that's where they have a group of people and you've got one person telling them how they have to paint and they have I think 45 minutes to paint something so things like, you know, you can only paint with your left hand, you can only paint with your right hand, you have to paint under the table, uh, you have to swap palettes with the person to your right, that sort of thing. I got kind of roped into the judging because we were just standing there watching and Ludo came up and said, hey, you, you want to judge? And it's like, okay, I can judge. And I ranked them from worst to best and probably shouldn't have but you know that was just kind of cruel and mean they, they were all about the same quality you know it's a rough rough way to paint a mini and for those who won or got last place there there really was no criteria there it was just and eh, this one and eh, this one it was almost random uh, the one I did pick is the best I had picked at the very first probably um, just because it was simple and it was executed, but it was a ghost spirit, so you had hands and a face and a 
robe. So, you know, there really wasn't anything there. The rest of them all, were all like little dwarves, and they all did a very good job considering how much hell they were put through. But, so yeah, if you got first place, don't put too much stock in it. And if you got last place, well, I had to pick someone, so congratulations. Um, last day, Reaper Auction, we had probably more Reaper Bucks than we should have. Apparently there was a glitch, and you know other people were going up and getting their extra Reaper Bucks, so, so oh, I probably should do that too. Um, well, you know, it's kind of like speeding. If everybody does it as is wrong, yeah. But nothing we could do about it, especially since I only found out when we came back home. But uh, we did manage to snag a paint case for my wife. It was uh, something she wanted last year and just went sky high. We got the third one by plan and I think 7200 Reaper Bucks. A couple people chipped in. We had a pool on the table anyway. Got the paint set back to the table and it looked brand new. It was a classroom set but they had maybe used one or two paints out of it. I don't know which paints were used, which ones not. She was very happy about that. Then towards the end, they had three mouseling sets go by, and I think we picked up the fourth one fairly cheaply, if I remember. Maybe not, but at that time, people were leaving, dumping Reaper Bucks on the table, and so we had a big stack. And tried to pass it around the table, but nobody at our table that helped chipped in would take a mouseling, so they told her that she has to paint all of them. So, we're happy about that. And, uh, well, she's happy about that. I don't get to touch them. But, yeah, there's 2017 in review. Um, big rumor is that it will not be at the same place next year, and maybe not even the same hotel. I know the first one I went f to in 2015, it was really convenient that the hotel and the convention were at the same spot. So, that may happen again. There's no official word. No unofficial word, just, oh, you think they'll do this? Well, you know, I heard from someone who heard it from someone who heard it from someone who heard a rumor. So we'll see you next year and have it at that. So hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.